February 1st. I was supposed to have been gone last night, January 31st, but why am I still here? I had a lot of elements in place that kind of helped make the extended stay a little bit easier. Not to mention all of the business inroads that I'm making here. We want to continue building those connections as well, too. The African Union is here this week. And so, you know, anytime the African Union meets, it's a historical kind of thing. Because I decided to extend my stay here, uh, I ran out of contact lens solution. This is not plentiful here. Things that we as Americans take for granted. Not a single pharmacy sells them, trust me. Mistake number one, when you need something here or any foreign country, call your friends and your contacts first. <laughs> this friend of mine was so busy and I never even thought to call her. Yesterday after a fruitless search, that I should just call my friend Mimi and instantly she had the answer for me in 30 seconds. Mission accomplished. But guys, I just want to tell you, <laughs> it takes a little extra patience over here, but it's so worth it. It is so worth it. Okay, I'm in a high-end shopping mall. We got a lot of shops here with high-end Ethiopian designers that make really great stuff as well. I'm gonna take a little low-key video so y'all can get some closer looks. Okay, so we're up on the third floor of this mall. Again, if you look behind me, they have beauty products, everything, anything you need. All of those brands, they got them all here. For all of you makeup heads, they got all of the hot brands, all of the dope fragrances, they got it all right here. There's no need to go bring a ton of stuff over here if you're moving or staying here for a long amount of time. All here had everything, maternity store, they had furniture, they got them. It's a spa right here, you know? Over here in Ethiopia, a lot of the malls are multi-purpose. They keep a lot of different stores, so it makes it really convenient for you. Look at this. Have you ever seen a dental office in a mall? If you bought a brand new house here for people who get brand new stuff, you can just make one stop in a mall like this and get absolutely everything you need right here, you know? And go to beauty salon. Yeah, you can get fly, ladies. Look at that. Yeah, it's going down, man. So this is the brother Z, and he owns Z Roma. He imports all of these fine European clothing. He has everything, all of the top brands. This is a great example of an Ethiopian men's shop. How long have you been open, Z? Almost one year. One year? Yeah. Good, good. The business is good for you? Not bad. Not bad, but yeah. could be better. Yeah, it's, this one is Turkey and also Italy. And this one is from Australia. Oh, wow. Melbourne. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, the suits are this one from Italy. This is cold. It's a nice one. You dress like uh, with jeans. It's a nice one. Some jacket there. This jacket is a nice one for summer. Too rich for my blood. I'm poor American. I can't afford it. But <laughs> at least he's nice enough to let me look. So I thank you, brother. Right, I'm thank a second you very much. Thank you. I'm a second All right. Check him thank out. You. Z Roma Bole Road, Addis Ababa. Guys, look at this. A four level mall, four floors, four stories. And they got, once again, everything, everything for everything and anything. Just want y'all to get a look. This is official Ethiopian mall. You see even the people down here doing traditional coffee for the afternoon. As usual, big part of the culture where they serve coffee called Buna. And that's always happening at a couple of times a day. <laughs> you have some more offices and things like that. So it's all happening right here, guys. This is another one of the super cool malls. Not so high end. This is kind of a normal mall with the normal stuff, but the movie theater here is really cool. Got everything just like an American movie theater, you know. And give you a bird's eye view here of the mall. Of course, multi-levels again. And all kinds of stores. Anything and everything for anything and everything. So yeah, there's also great stuff. You can take the family out, have a great family night, do fun things for the kids and stuff like that. And this is just one of many movie theaters here. You know, many more we'll like a grocery here. store walk here. Example of a really well-organized grocery store. Everything is put together. They got tons of stock everywhere. Friendly team to help you out. They got everything here. They got the pasta, dried fruit. You can get all of your household items here. You know, they got all the dishwashing soap, you know, hand soap. They've even got, you know, all of the big brands of uh, 
washing powder or the equivalent. It's all the same crap anyway. You know, all these phosphates and chemicals. Well, who cares what brand it is anyway? But yeah, so just so you guys can get an idea of all of the cool stuff that's still available here. You can do a full shopping trip. They got bar soap, liquid soap, deodorant, everything you need. So you my first grocery shopping trip at an Ethiopian grocery store. That was pretty cool. Place looked great, right? They had it hooked up. Fast, friendly service. They had all the team there. But the bill was kind of high. 947, 947 burr. <laughs> About 20 bucks, not bad. And they got good stuff there too. So yeah, the exchange rate, not good for Ethiopia, good for Americans traveling. So you negotiate with people, you know, Give them a little bit of leeway, man. People are working hard here for their little dollars and stuff like that. And the exchange rates are very lopsided because Western and European countries are always, you know, doing these manipulative things with the economic system. So, you know, I mean, you know, don't be afraid to be a little bit generous with folks. People here, they work hard. And if you see a lot of Ethiopian people around giving the poor money, that's even more reason for you to follow suit as well. I'm just saying. <laughs> Banchi Richard and Lim Santo, Ya Yeshu. Yet it wishes who found a member of the Tata. Then Yalas and Levitu, Levitu. And the Kabab, and the Kabab, and the Kabab.